Hey guys, today I got another exciting video for you guys, and today we're going to talk about the Earned Income Tax Credit. Now, if you guys don't know what it is, if you're an IRS, if you work, if you file your taxes, make sure you do because you're going to get this tax credit at the end of the year worth $1,500, right? Make sure you're talking to the right accountant. Most accountants are not going to know this. They will, they should know this, but if they don't, now you know, and now you have the power to actually get your money in your pocket, right? Super cool. Remember, subscribe to my channel, follow, like, and also follow me on Instagram, Money Dinero 10. I'm going to put it right in the description down below. Money Dinero 10. You can get yourself extra discounts, free money. You share it with people, you get yourself money out for them. And yes, discounts on gas. We're going to make a video about that. So let's get on with it, right? Earn income tax credit. Everything you need to know before filing this year. You guys already know if you work, you have to file your taxes. No matter what it is, you file your taxes. And some of us get a refund. Some of us have to pay taxes, right? Now, earn income tax credit. Now, for this year, since since everything is going up, President Biden is actually helping us out, right? Most families, most people are gonna that work are gonna receive a, a, a income tax credit of one thousand five hundred dollars, which is super great, awesome, right? That means money you don't have to pay. That means more money in your pocket, and that means a lot more happy people, right? More money to actually buy food and more money to actually do things, right? Now, eligible range expanded, all right? So before. Uh, it was different. Now those as young as 19 years old could actually qualify for this uh, for this tax, and even younger at 18 if you're in a foster home, right? So it has to be between the ages of 19 and 65, which is cool, right? So uh, so it's even better. So expanded um, tax credit for people without qualifying children, right? So while while the maximum tax credit for qualifying taxpayers went up slightly for 2021, those without qualifying children tax credit nearly tripled from five thirty eight to one thousand five hundred two dollars right which is super cool so not only if you have kids you're gonna get a tax credit but now without kids if you just work you're gonna get a tax credit as well right which is super cool increase investments income limits right for the tax year twenty twenty the amount of money the workers could earn from investment income is so eligible tax credit was three thousand six hundred fifty right for twenty twenty one the limit received a, a substantial boost of ten thousand and for years going forward it's a thousand limit will be indexed it for inflation right something you should know ability to use 2009 earned income for your tax credit calculation purposes if your loan income was was lower in 2021 than it was in 2019 the IRS shows you use your 2019 earned income for purposes of determining your tax credit eligibility this exception was created in response for to the unemployment escalation um, caused by the coronavirus pandemic more information is available online, 27C of the IRS instructions for Form 1040. So if you guys want to know more information about that, make sure you check that out. So if you guys already know, if you made this year or last year less than 2019, you could uh, fill out a new form or you could make an exemption. Actually, they'll probably do it automatically and they'll cover you up and you'll get some tax credit eventually, right? Which is awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Now, changes to the phase out and credit limits. In addition to everything else, Increased amount of tax credit um, for the tax year 2021, the phase out limits have been also been expanded. For example, families with no children can now qualify for incomes between 21,000 and 27,000. Above 2020's limits of 15,000 and 21,000, here are the phase out limits for families with children for the tax year 2021, based on filing status. So if for one child has to be uh, from 42 to 48,000, up from 41 to 47,000, right? So that's an increase. Now, if you have no qualifying children, it's one thousand five hundred up from five hundred thirty-eight dollars, right? Which is awesome. So that's what the difference is. You can watch that. You can pause it. You can read it. Now, uh, it's super great. Why? Because most of us are going to get a thousand five hundred if you don't have children and it just work, right? Awesome. Now, effect of the third one round economic payments on the tax credit, right? For tax credit purposes, you're not allowed to count the third round of economic impact payment as earned income. However, you're not. You're also not required to report those payments as taxable income. So IETC exclusion makes sense, right? So so this is um so you have to include your stimulus payments, no economic impact payments. Um, just leave it out and you'll be good and set as to do your taxes, right? Selection of filing status for some taxpayers, right? If you're married but separated, you may have eligible to file a single for purposes of claiming your tax credit. The spouse claiming your tax credit may have a qualifying child living with them for half the year and cannot file joining with other spouse. Other restrictions apply, such as having written proof and of the separation and remaining in the same principal residence for at least six months of the year. All right? So you guys are qualifying those, you can read it, you can pause it, learn a little bit about it, 
But basically, you have to give them a letter explaining the reason what's going on. Children, children don't need social security numbers for family eligibility voting. Okay, for family eligibility. So, um, so in the past, tax were, were ineligible to qualify for a tax credit if the children did not have social security numbers. Now, families can still claim uh, tax credit even without identifying social security numbers for children. However, they can only claim childless tax credit. In other words, even with, even with three children, a family could qualify for a maximum of 1200 which is still much better than the zero available prior years, right? And this does involve immigrants, so it's great news. I'm going to talk about immigrants in a minute. Should have said in the beginning, but now you have a little bit more of an idea. The bottom line, tax rate has always been a bit complicated to calculate, so much that the IRS says as, ma as many as one in five taxpayers are eligible for the tax credit and don't claim it. This number may even go up due to changes implemented for the tax year. If you think you may be eligible for the tax credit, and if you don't fully understand it, it's best to speak with a professional tax advisor, right? So I'm telling, letting you guys know, if you do qualify, just go ahead and apply. Tell your accountant. Most accountants don't know, but now you'll know, and now you'll get the tax credit worth $1,500, including if you're an immigrant. Okay, so let's read more about immigration right now. Now, California, major populated state of, of immigrants, I can actually earn income tax credit. Now, who who will benefit? Who could benefit the most? Obviously, immigrants, right? Now, in California, they passed a law that's going to let immigrants, uh, people without an I I. EITC number, uh, ITT, ITIN number, a taxpayer identification number, in other words, uh, oh no, only with a uh, taxpayer identification number are able to get income tax credit, right? Which is awesome. You know, people, you already know about children, but now here in California, whoever has one, whoever works for that, is able to actually do taxes and get a ta and the, and the actual tax, right? The actual tax benefit, right? So are Latinos able to get it? Obviously, they're able to get uh, do the taxes, be able to get the money, and even undocumented immigrants can apply for a California tax credit, right? Which I'm going to tell you guys right now. The earned income tax credit works by reducing the amount of taxes the tax credit owes or increasing the tax refund. If the filer's tax credit amount is more than what they owe in taxes, they can receive the money back in the tax refund. For those who are eligible for the credit, they can receive a refund even if they do not owe tax, no ta owe tax income, right? That's something we all do, right? Now, to qualify, they have to be 18 years old. They have to have a social security number or ITI number for themselves. Spouse and children. In addition, worker was also living in the state for more than six months, among their other requirements, right? But an individual who, is, who, who has children born in the U.S. and additional, uh, they could get an extra 3,600 child. We all know that. Give me one second. Uh, it says right here, because he's undocumented, he didn't qualify for many social safety net programs. That kept many Americans afloat during the pandemic, including unemployment, insurance, stimulus checks, or the federal benefit. Since he resumed working, he had um, he had a lot more money to actually pay his taxes, right? So in other words, if you have an ITN number, I'll quickly read it fast. If you have an ITN number, you can get a benefit for, all, for doing your taxes, get money, and if even if you're an immigrant, you don't have no citizenship, you could work and get the ITN number and actually get that credit, right? Super awesome. People don't know about it. People decide to go under the table, but they actually work legally and get money. And if you do work illegally, that helps you out and actually get your citizenship, right? Now, many, many, many more states. I heard Florida's supposed to pass this type of um type of law with their with their population, so that means they're able to work, stay in the U.S. to work and actually pay their taxes and get a, even a refund at the end of the year, right? Super cool. Not only that, you can also apply for the uh what's it called you can also apply for other programs. That could give you a three thousand six hundred per child, which is uh, uh, the child the child program uh, uh, kind of child credit program. There you go, the child credit program is going to give you a thousand three hundred dollars per child. You can even apply for that, right? Super awesome. And even a young child tax credit. If you're younger than than six, you could get a thousand dollars through that tax credit, which is super awesome. People don't know this, but now you know this. Hopefully, you understood this. I wasn't too fast about this, but you could actually apply and get more credit, right? Which is awesome. You can earn tax credit credit right super cool super awesome get a boost not only that if you're undocumented you're getting more money right so eligible tax credit can claim this credit where can you claim it pretty much you can claim it in almost all states uh, uh, I, have, I, have a, I have a little map right here you can check it out in 2021 Colorado Connecticut Delaware District Columbia India Indiana Maine Maryland Minnesota Missouri New Jersey New Mexico Oklahoma Oregon Washington added or expanded their tax credits right with some going into effect in the future tax years, right? Now we want to know the full list. 
it right here is a full list. You can see that right there. All these states are able to get a, a tax credit and that's refundable. And the ones in black, they're non refundable. But it's a great deal, right? For example, um, credits may range from 3% in Montana to 50% in Maryland, but you get a lot of credit, right? Super, super credit. A lot of people are very really happy about it. You already know about the about California. You could actually get that credit um, for everybody and um, you get a boost and also for immigrants, right? Super awesome, 1,500, right? So federal tax credit boost for 2021, which I'm gonna remind you again, President Biden made it better for us. He's gonna give a little boost because of the pandemic and it's gonna help us everybody, right? So it's awesome. A lot more workers without children to qualify. So people without children can't qualify, like us, like you and me. And obviously people with children can't qualify as well. Immigrants can qualify if they have ITCN and they actually work and do your taxes get a lot more money right so this is a great way i explain to you every single way hope you guys like this video hope you guys uh, learn a little bit of information you can always pause it go back read it if you want to you know search it online you can hear me out i quickly went forward too fast for you guys um because i was reading along but hopefully you guys understood me and you guys enjoy it right um so again subscribe hit the like button this is great news we're getting more money and don't forget follow me on instagram money dinero 10 for even extra money for free right Discount links, you get up to $17 for free. Just upload one receipt out of your grocery stores, you get $20. Use an app to go shopping online, you get an extra $30, and I'll show you guys how and just do it. Okay? So, to my next video, thanks.